Yes, indeed, it's that time again. It is time for a shop the shelves and an update of what's happening at the Good Stuff Thrift Store. There's something very exciting I get to show you in this week's video. I cannot wait. Of course, we have our clear glass display over here. Oh, it was fun to pick something out of this. Hmm. Which piece shall it be this week? Good morning, Goody. How are ya? We gotta add a little water to your pond, don't we? You're waiting for breakfast, aren't you? All right, I'll be right with you. I have to make a video first. Yes, indeed, it's that time again. It is time for a shop the shelves and an update of what's happening at the Good Stuff Thrift Store. I do this every Sunday, and the purpose of it is twofold. First, for all of my local customers, you get to see what's new and exciting in the store and our sales coming up this week and all that good stuff. But also, if you're not local, I sell things on my WhatNot shop channel what did, what do they call it what what not uh, on my what not uh, I, I sell things on my what not based on this shop the shelves episode where you get to give input if you would like me to sell something that I don't happen to put in my cart you can leave a comment on this video and I monitor these comments and make sure that I put those things into this week's sale so you literally get to shop the shelves with me and then what we do is we sell those things. If they've been in the store for at least a week, I sell them starting at a dollar. And if they have just been put out in the last day or two, we do start them at the tag price. So with that being said, let's get in here. Let's get shop done. If you're new to my channel, here is the 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 treasure hunt as we call it that we have set up here in the store we go by the dates so things that are 30 percent 30 days are 30 percent off 60 days 60 percent off of course this does not include the white tag items because those belong to other people we are supporting five different nonprofits here at the good stuff and all of these are donated goods. So the proceeds of this whatnot sale do go to all of those nonprofits depending on whose goods it is. And we keep track of all of that based on the labels right here, as you can see. So everybody has a number and we know whose stuff is whose. All right, without further ado, let's do the most important thing. Let's go get us a lucky cart. We also love to keep things out of the landfill. So things that are not quite worth putting out on the shelves, we do put into this crazy little bin here. I don't know, there are some little homemade jobs. Now I won't run these in the sale, but if you're local, it just gives you a little sneak peek of what's here. We just moved some of these Reader's Digest condensed books over here too to make some room on our, um, our bookshelves over there. So. Take a peek at that. If you're ever in the store, you are welcome to take anything out of that bin. All right, I saw this last week, and I don't know why I didn't run it last week, because it's, it's super adorable. Um, it's actually a child's mask. You can see there, it's got the loopholes. It's got the little things. I'm gonna put this in the buy now section of this week's sale, just because it's so stinking adorable, and you could repurpose it and do other things with it as well. And those bunnies that we just had our eyes on here, they are bunny salt and peppers. Who makes you? Who makes you? Oh, they were JC Penny. They were JC Penny bunnies. Yeah, we'll put the bunny. See, they're Easter, but they're also all year long if you love bunnies. So we're gonna run those. So we're already starting our lucky cart. 
Now we will do our Easter goods at 50% off all of this week if you're local and can come stop by. So anything that is something you'd like to, you know, put away for next year or you just love bunnies and sweet little things like that, come on in. Find some cool stuff. Water wizards. Ooh. I wonder if I used that if I would then not kill some of my plants. Although I must say, my plants are alive. They're alive and doing well because I have guilted myself so much uh, that I'm remembering to water them. <laughs> oh, did my princess house candle finally sell? It was down here for the longest time. Now, I think somebody was asking about this picture, and it is a Kimberly Hodges by Hallmark. I will go ahead and put that in the cart. If that was you, leave me a comment and let me know that this is the right one. Sometimes I see your comments, but... I'm not exactly sure which item you're referring to. If we have like more than one blue pitcher or more than one of whatever the thing is that you're describing. So it really helps if you can give a, as detailed of a description of the item and even a timestamp in the video as possible. If it's something I might have like more than one of because blue pitcher was like, <gasps> which blue pitcher? So, but I think maybe this might be the one. So we're going to put this one in the sale. I'm also spotting these little votives. These are kind of nice. Oh, people have asked me to show the prices too, and I'm really bad about that. So we were asking $2.99 for this pair of these little yellow votive holders. And I kind of like these, so we'll put those into the sale. Coming up here little teapot. I think this was here last week. Yeah, $4.99 for the little tea, tea, teapot. I might come back to that. Pretty little cobalt blue peacock vase. We've got $2.99 on that. This I showed last week. It is a Blue Sky Clay Works. Again, it's an item that I would run if I had enough interest in it. We're going to probably leave it here for another week without all that interest. Why are you upside down, little kitty? You go this way. There you go. And as usual, we get to sell a piece of the amazing Crystal Van Ho's Pyrex jewelry. She has her own little boutique. That's what we do. We have boutiques inside of the thrift store so that we can support other resellers that are local here. And uh, there's something very exciting I get to show you in this week's video. I cannot wait. Look at that. Worldwide Arts Gigi. Oh, my, and it's not priced. I'm going to have to ask her how much that is because that's really super adorable. But Crystal's prices are very, very good. And she is an Etsy seller. If you see something here now... This is where it gets a little tricky. If you see something that's not jewelry in here, uh, you are welcome to send me an email and say, I saw something in Crystal's room and I'd like to buy it and I can send those emails on to her or you can just contact her directly through either Instagram or Facebook or Etsy. That is her information and how to find her. There you go. I'm going to hold that on there for a minute. But she is so awesome. She lets us sell a piece of her jewelry. And we just do choice. So it can be any single piece that you like. That's a pair of earrings, a ring, a pop socket, a money clip, a necklace. Lots of necklaces to choose from. All made from Pyrex and glass. Here, let me show you her glowy glass cabinet here. Still absolutely love the beehives. This is all uranium glass pieces. Ooh, what's this one? Ooh, that's, that's lovely. And then she's got the cadmium pieces down here. Indeed, indeed. So many cool pieces to choose from and we'll be selling one. All right. 
Now I had a lot of questions about this uh, melamine military stuff. We have $4.99 each on the cups and they're Halsey. $4.99 each on the cups. We've got two, four, six, eight, ten of them. And then we have $7.99 each on the trays. And we have one, two, three, four, five. And we have six of those. So for if that was you that was asking, there you go. We aim to get answers. Look at this lovely piece. Oh my, let's see who makes you. You are J Import. We have you for $9.99. Really a nice piece. Let me know if anybody wants me to run that. We have the Fitz and Floyd, I do believe. Yep, 1985, the asparagus serving tray. We still have those beautiful plates down there too. This looks like a nice little made in Japan piece. It is. Made in Japan, we have that for $4.99. And I think I'll put that in this week's sale. Cute little cups. Let's see who makes you. Something. Mmm, can't read that one. It's $19.99. These are little $19.99 cups. They're $3.99. Oh, that one's got a little spoon in it. They are not the greatest quality. Mercasia? Hmm. That's a nice little Celadon mug. Solitude can be much solitude can be a much to be desired condition. It's two ninety nine. It's a two thousand three. Oh my gosh, that's vintage. Two thousand three little Celadon mug. You know what? Let's put that in the sale. I do really like this very springy vintage set of dishes. These are Petite Flora Ironstone, made in Japan. We do price our dish pieces separately. So like $1.99 for that. This is $1.99 for the little creamer and so on. Of course, we have our clear glass display over here. Oh, it was fun to pick something out of this. Hmm. Which piece shall it be this week? Let me think. Oh, I think I know what it's going to be. I think the little vintage. I think these are federal glass with the little carriages on them. Very mid-century. We've got two of the tall tumblers. And then we've got three of the little bar glasses. Let's run those. We also have this really cool cork art piece. And we have this price at $19.99, but it's been here for a couple of weeks. So guess what? We're starting it at a dollar and we'll see where it goes. I did have a local shopper upset that sometimes I was selling things within a day or two of them being here in the store. But in my brain, what I'm thinking is that my local shoppers can also pull up the whatnot sale and leave a pre-bid if there was something, if they can't make it to the sale or just participate in the sale because you might just get it cheaper than the marked price on the tag. But whatnot really opens it up to everybody Mmm, I kind of like this. What do you guys feel about this? I don't know. This is one of our white tags, so this doesn't fall in the discount schedule. But I can tell this item's been here a while also. and has some wiggle room. I kind of like it. I think, we'll, I think we'll go for it. Let's put this one in the sale. And if you see anything on these shelves you would like me to run again, just leave a comment. I am happy to pull them. You can say these are the cubbies up front. The cubbies up front. And we have more of them over here too. Lots of really cool things. We have some lovely items in our up front cases. We've got doilies. 
Our doilies are priced at $3.99. Once they have been here for 30 days, they go down 30%. Once they've been here for 60 days, they go down 60%. So uh, we do try to get what we can for these nonprofits. That's how our pricing system works, and it's working really, really well. We do sell many, many things at the full price, and we are increasing the amount that we are getting for these nonprofits, which is really super exciting. In fact, join me on Monday for an update on our first quarter and all the payouts that we're doing for the nonprofits. I'm gonna give all the numbers and all the exciting things that are coming up and things that are planned and it's gonna be a really, really good live show. So I hope to see you there, 1 p.m. Pacific time, right here on the channel. We've got these souvenir spoons. Most of them are priced at $4.99. We've got one that is sterling silver that is $9.99. I could go back to doing like a choice thing in the Littles case if you guys would like me to do that. Yeah, I used to do that before and I haven't done it for a while. So let me know in the comments if you would like to do choice in the Littles case. I could absolutely do that. This is our better brand section. We put... The nice shoes, purses, and clothing over here. Some of our, you know, new in the box stuff. These all came in their universal thread. We have, like, looks like size six and a half, seven, nine, and just some small sizes in the, the black ones. Still have many of our Betsy Johnson, although they are selling out quickly. A lot of people have asked me about this Betsy Johnson coat here, we have, stand by, uh, we do have $149 on that piece, but are open to offers, open to offers. All right, shoes. I was thinking this morning in the car how I could go about doing some sort of a shop the shelves for clothing and shoes. Now, I wouldn't do it on my normal Monday time slot. I would add that in later in the week. In fact, I've already added a Wednesday sale that will either be purses or jewelry. So if you're into purses and, and or jewelry, come over to my Wednesday whatnot sale. And I think we're still deciding on the time. It's set for 3 p.m. right now, but we might bump that up. So stay tuned for that info. Bookmark it. Follow my channel. Watch the community uh, comments thread. I will update that info for sure. Uh, but we are adding that in. And I'm also then thinking of adding in a clothing and shoes sale. So if that is something that might interest you, let me know. Give me some feedback down in the comments if that's something you think I should do. All right. This lamp is absolutely amazing. Vintage. It's like a music stand, lear, harp kind of thing. <laughs> like lack of better words. Um, but it really it, it would work as a music stand and lamp. I mean, it's really super cool. I don't even remember what we priced this at. Where's our tag? Where's the price tag? Oh my goodness. Where did the price tag go? Oh, it's way up there. Well, that's not good. We have to fix that. I'm gonna have to lower that price tag down to here so people can see it. Little things in retail that you wouldn't think about, but then you go shop and you go, oh yes, that's an issue. Look at this clock. Now, the clock part got a little problem with the mechanism there. I'm sure that could be cleaned out, but somebody let a battery go bad. So I, I don't know quite how to get that back working, but just the little quilling itself is so adorable that we just could not uh, let that go to the wayside. Let's go over here to our fancy shelves and Let's see what's new and exciting out here. Oh, that basket's kind of nice. Come, I haven't seen that before. Who makes you? You? Oh, I think I have seen you before. Your formalities. It's not one of my favorite brands, 
But if it's one of yours, let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to run it. Let's see. Oh, it's a pretty blue bottle. We still got a few of these little Avon bottles. Oh, you're still here. All right. I spotted this last week and I didn't run it because it was just new out on the shelf, but we're going to run it this week. Nice little mid-century diamond point ruffled candy dish in that lovely 70s avocado green. Let's run it. Got some incense. Little kitty cats. Let's see. You're a $2.99 kitty cat. Now, I forgot. I forgot. This is my fault. I know. Now, I know. I know. We know. There's nothing on the bottom of this piece. But the customer doesn't know that. So we still have to be aware of putting those tags on the bottom where the customer might think there's something. And unfortunately, this little guy's got a little chipping. I'm going to leave him here unless I get very, very strong comments saying, please run the little kitty cat. We will rescue him. Here's those little Valentine's doggy glasses. Oh, that's a cute little piece of pottery with an apple on it. Little stoneware piece. It is signed L. Ross. We have this at $7.99, but in the whatnot sale, it starts at a buck. I cannot believe Easter is here and gone. Well, this video is coming out on Easter Sunday, but then it's, that's it. It's over for another year. Just like that. I don't know if this would have had a lid. I'm thinking it might have had a lid and that it's like a sugar bowl, but very reusable piece as something else. Put a little succulent in there, an air plant, a little trinket holder, put a little candy. We have that at $3.99, but we're going to start it for a dollar in the whatnot sale. Okay, let's see. Our cart is filling up with stuff. We've got a Lolita. Lolita. Still have the dolls here. These are the McKees Crossing 1997 collection. I suspect that they are discounted now. They are. So these would be 30% off. We did have them at $74.99 a piece. Um, so they would be 30% off at this point. Don't make me do that math. <laughs> Don't make me do it. I got a little white bird with a crown. Let's see. I think I saw after last week's um, video that somebody was interested in this bowl, but it does have a chip. And like, as I said, you know, I'm a little squeamish now about running the things that have like a chip like that uh, because I am getting some bad um, ratings and feedbacks over in the whatnot. And, and that does affect a seller's um, ability to attract new customers. And so I have to be super careful about that. And if you are a reseller, you have to be super careful about that. Anything that affects you being able to grow your business, uh, you have to be super aware of. As much as I like to rescue and sell the stuff, I have to, you know, get more more good ratings to overcome a bad one that might come in. Adorable little Eeyore frame. What do you guys think? Should we run Eeyore? What kind of basket are you? Nope, you're not signed. You are not a Lungeberger. Oh, this looks so pretty with the little candles actually in it. I do believe this is a party light. Oh, it is. <laughs> Duh. It is a party light. We have that for $11.99. And then we have this set for $9.99. With the boxes. Faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. I see an interesting little piece of glass. It's got 
etchings of flowers on it, and it is a signed piece. Let's see if we can make out who that is signed by. I can't quite tell, but I feel like this would be a good piece to run in the sale. Oh, it's almost time to start putting out all the red, white, and blue for like 4th of July. Goodness, this year is going way too fast. Now, I did have somebody leave a comment last week that they only wanted two of these duck mugs. So what I may do, I will put them all in the sale, but I'll sell them in pairs. So, just so you can see who they are. They are Odegiris. So we're going to sell a pair, but there's I'm going to run it twice. So there's potentially four that you could add to your collection. But if you just wanted two, you could do that too. Oh, let's see. That is a gourd vase. That's kind of cool. I just sold a carved gourd in my own YouTube live sale on Friday. This is really nice. Look at all those. Those are hematite beads on there even. When one's in the shape of a little bear claw. All right, let's run that. We got kind of our wood section going over here. And then we go into some safari. We love these safari dishes. And we've got crafts and office supplies and health and beauty items. We've got lots of household goods. That looks kind of interesting. A full body support pillow thing. Huh. Okay. All right. We've got dishes, little temptations plate. We sell all the things that a normal thrift store would sell, but so much more. And our mugs. We sell a lot of coffee mugs, so this section is down a bit. Oh, look at that little refrigerator. How cute is that? And then we have our pet section. We still have lots of the pet clothing over in the buy now section. Go check out my little buy now section on whatnot. Uh, we put some lightweight items over there because that saves you on shipping when you then get something that is a heavier item. And uh, we put a whole big variety of things over there. Like if we have a lot of the same kind of thing, we will put those over there. Got a little souvenir plate from Bermuda. Oh look, we've got more mugs. All right. Oh, chalkboard wine glass set. That's kind of fun. We have some really cool Master Chef glass food storage. Brand spanking new. Those are priced at $14.99. There are a few things that we do look up. I am not going to lie. We look them up to see what they're going for on the resale market, and we price under that. So we, we don't necessarily price it at a reseller price because that wouldn't be fair to our nonprofits. But if it doesn't sell at the full price, it then gets down to a reseller price where then you could purchase it to put online. And we do that instead of putting the stuff on eBay ourselves because then we would just be in direct competition with our customers. So we don't do that. I'm pretty happy with the way the system's going and that there's lots of people finding really great deals for resale here. And we're giving things a chance to sell to collectors to help our nonprofits the best that we can. Ooh, Lord of the Rings. DVD edition sets. And a baseball, a film by... Baseball, a film by Ken Burns, VHS. We have lots of DVD VHS. You know what? I think what's going to happen this week, we're going to do a buy two, get one free on the DVDs and the VHS. We already have that going on our books. 
So we're gonna, we're just gonna extend it over here too this week. We have lots of linens as well. So I think this week I'm gonna do a linen sale. I'm gonna do 50% off on all linens as well. So if you're local and wondering what the sales are gonna be this week, linens, books, uh, DVDs, movies, and I think sporting goods as well because our sporting goods is getting a little bit overrun. So watch for all of those things in an email. Now I do have an email list. So if you wanna be put on the email list for the store, just send uh, an email to the niche lady at gmail.com with the subject, put me on your list and I will add you into our database and you will get an email with all of the weekly info. We get some really, really nice pots and pans in here. Look how nice that one is. That's a Cuisinart wok. And then we've got the, you know, the nice pans with the lids. He is $7.99. That is a tools of the trade. Nice little pots and pans. He's only $2.99, little saucepan. Then we have some camping stuff, some coolers. Kind of our plastic kitchen section is over here and our small kitchen appliances are over here, including that really cool little red Magic Chef microwave uh, that we have tested. It works, it's like new. We've got $49.99 on it. We have lots of great kids stuff. We have clothing and shoes that you would see if you went to any thrift store. Lots of great clothing and shoes dresses. We just switched over and put our short sleeves over here and moved long sleeves away because, yep, Vegas is now up to 80 degrees, just like that. And then we have our toy section here, track racing. That looks fun. We've got some little marching band, Mickey Mouse, new packaged things. Some dinosaurs, lots of games. All of our games have been checked to make sure they're complete. So if it's out here on the shelf, unless the tag says missing pieces, these are all complete. You can count on it. We guarantee it. Let's walk over to the other side. Oh, you're kind of fun. All right, let's go over here. And see, I might put some of these mystery toy bags into the buy now section. It's a surprise toy. You don't know what it is till you get it. So I can't tell you. And they all feel different too. I can feel there's different things in here. You know what? I'll put some of those over in the buy now section. Oh, you know what else I could put in the buy now section? Is some Mr. Fuzzies. We have Mr. Fuzzies. We have pink Mr. Fuzzies. You guys remember these, right? These are the little worms. They're on a string. So it looks like he's actually like moving and alive. So we have those and we have fidget sticks. Fidget sticks, roll, flip, fun, fidget sticks. All right, we'll put some of those in the buy now too. Nice and lightweight, ready to go. We got all of these brand new kid shoes, sandals. They are Cat and Jack. We have them at just $9.99. And then in 30 days, they'll go down 30% off of that. Oh, squirrel. Oh, let's see. We got some Funko Pops left. Now these Funko Pops are now 60% off. So these Funko Pops, you know what? I'm gonna put the rest of these Funko Pops into the whatnot sale and start them at a dollar. We're at that point. These are Hot Topic exclusive pre-release. Uh, Orf Orphean Black? I guess Orphean Black. Hey, you know what I'm going to do? Maybe I'll just run them all together. Let me know. Separate or together? Let me know your opinion down in the comments. Oh, look at the VW bus. Now, I believe I sold a different car. Yep, it is a puzzle. It is a puzzle. But the tin itself is just absolutely fantastic. So let's run that too. It's a Euro graphics puzzle. That's going in. I can't stand it. I can't stand that my fabulous Cirque du Soleil 
Snail is still here waiting for a home. He's going in the sale this week too. Oh, I forgot this little section over here. Ooh, aren't you pretty? Little spatter glass made in Mexico. We have this for $4.99. That's going in the sale. It's absolutely stunning. And we have our baggy wall. Now, I need your opinion on this. Uh, we do have these somewhat organized by household items, crafting items, etc. cetera. Uh, would it be better for me to actually put labels up at the top? Does that make it easier to shop? Or do you just kind of like looking through the baggies the way they are? Let me know, let me know the opinion. I would love, I love, love, love feedback from those of you who go out shopping and you know know how you like to shop. Also, we are adding ribbon to the sale this week. It's gonna be 50% off, which is basically a dollar a roll for uh, this new ribbon. Let's see, we got baggies that didn't get put back on the baggie wall after they got taken down. Wow, candles. Lot, oh, oh, that one ripped. Okay, that's why it's, we'll have to fix that. But all of these, Fabulous, brand new. Oh, that's brick. A little our uh, rick, rick rack, rick zigzag, rick rack. What do you call that? What do they call it? They're not calling it anything. Rick rack, rick. I thought it was rick rack. All right, ribbon, ribbon, ribbon. There's some beads. Yeah, come on in, shop through the ribbons. We have more to put out too. Lots of ribbon. Now I haven't been as good about putting new things out in my section. This is the Niche Lady Boutique up here. You might recognize some things that I bought in my videos. Now, the way this works is I rent space from the store. I have two businesses. One of them is my personal reselling business. The other one is the thrift store. The thrift store runs separately from my personal business. So my other business, my reselling business, pays for this space within the store. I don't know, it's crazy bookkeeping stuff, but uh, I do not buy from the store to put things up here. Nobody's allowed to do that. That would not be fair. But what I do is bring in the things that I have purchased out in the wild that you see in all of my other content that comes up here the same as if I was renting space at, at an antique mall or anything like that. So that is the stuff that is curated and put up here in my booth. And I can make deals up here. That's the fun part too. I'm usually here, usually in the afternoons for those that come in. So if you wanna catch me here, afternoons are better than mornings uh, for the most part, but uh, I'm, I'm always happy to wheel and deal. I will remember to get more of the little bottles into the buy now section this week. I will do it. I will do it. I really, really, really need to fill up this wall with some art. I think that's what I was going to put slat wall and I think I just need to bite the bullet and put some nails in the wall and just do it. So here are some of the goodies in my section. I have some larger items. So you'll recognize, you know, I, I really, really don't want to ship the big, large items. That's, that's a thing for me. Got a really cool doll there. Still have the old dollhouse. I have $500 on it. That entire box is filled with furniture, lots of it vintage. Uh, and it comes all together and it's electrified and it's really super fabulous. You might recognize those. Now, if I don't sell them here, I'll take one home. But I thought, mm, at least I can enjoy them here for a little bit. More goodies, more goodies. Piece of glass that I think I might put this in the sale. It's a very spring color, isn't it? Kind of a cranberry glass. It's thick. You can either put a plant or a candle or whatever you wanted in it. I'm going to put that in the sale this week. I really want to find some time this week to carve out and kind of redo my little section up here because I'm getting a little bored with it. And if I'm getting a little bored with it, my shoppers might be getting a little bored with it. And that's one of the keys too is if you have a space somewhere, go in and change it up and make it, 
you know, more appealing to the eye. And make sure the items still excite you. Here's my Christmas section over here. Now this is the store's Christmas section. I gave up a little, little piece over here to have Christmas out year round. But then this goes back into things that I have brought in. Just let me know if you see something that you really, really, really want me to run. And thank you for everybody who helped me with this little uh, strainer that turns out to be, okay, now I, now I can't remember what you told me, but I think it's a, a mycin, 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 and it's actually quite valuable, come to find out. Who knew? I really need to get back going with the eBay. Just seems like once I get going on something, there ends up being a little disruption that stops the flow of things. So we gotta, we gotta get back to it. That'll be happening very, very soon. All right, let's see what's happening in the boutiques. This is, whoop, that glare. Thrifting Vegas, this is Tiffany. This is her space. She is still running some 25% off sales. Look at these bunnies, oh my gosh. When she brought those in, I fell in love with them. Really fabulous things in Tiffany's space. And if you watch her videos, you'll see her pick up some of these things and know what she's bringing to the booth. And then we have the Picker Road Boutique. And again, they have a channel, so if you watch their channel, you will see the things that they are curating for their booth, which is absolutely stuffed full of incredible things. And, in case you didn't know, they do their whatnot sale right after mine on Mondays. And now, the big surprise and the thing that has been happening this week at The Good Stuff is we are filling up the showcases and the space with new vendors. And we'll just kind of go through. Now, each one of these cases belongs to somebody different. So we're going to have a super, super variety. And we are going to pop in and surprise sell something from each one of their cases. Because it is my commitment to make sure everybody is making some money in this place. So... I don't know which item it's gonna be. We're probably gonna do kind of a little, uh, let's see who's in the room on the whatnot when we get ready to do it. And then you guys decide which item. But look at the fun, fun stuff coming in. Such a cool variety and we're not even done. All of the spaces are rented they just haven't been filled up yet. They're busy entering stuff into the system, getting price tags on. It is quite a process. Look at these penguins. I am just absolutely in awe of these things. And she's got them priced at just $39.95 for the pair. I don't want to ship those guys. And then over in this room, the same thing is happening. Look at all the lovelies. Lots of amazing pieces. I'm so excited. They have been working very hard to get their spaces filled up. But we will show this more on Monday during the WhatNot sale. And like I said, we are going to sell something from each one of their shelves. I love this little batty boops. And then another one over here. And then next week, we should have the entire space. Everything will be filled in. So these shelves over here are going to be full. There's going to be another showcase down here in the middle. This is store merchandise over here that we just kind of popped 
into this little nook because we didn't have another spot. But I will be doing another um, purse and jewelry sale on Wednesday. So be watching for that, as I said. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited at the way things are going here. And of course, now the weather's turning good. The traffic is picking up. We've been super busy. I've got an amazing team that you can come in and they will help you in any way they can. And again, like I said, it's a wheel and deal kind of a place. It's a small thrift store. So, I mean, it's not tiny, but it's small, which means we are not corporate run. We have a lot of ability to work with our customers and fill their needs. And it's a win-win for the nonprofits and for those who want to buy stuff. And I am just super excited about what the future holds. So I hope you will join me on my whatnot sale on Monday at 3 p.m. Pacific time. And if you want to come over to my live show, which is at 1 p.m. Pacific time right here on my YouTube channel, we will discuss the numbers of first quarter and how everything has been going. Come join me for that. And until then, you go be profitable and make it fun.